Hello children, in today's class, let us discuss a few uh, important points on television. Let me begin by giving uh, uh, the growth or origin of television first. See, by definition, television broadcasting is uh, the transmission of visual images uh, generally with accompanying sound in the form of electromagnetic waves that when received can be reconverted into visual images. Uh, that is on January 23rd, that is in 1926, John Logie Baird of Scotland gave the world's first public demonstration of a mechanical television apparatus uh, to the members of uh, the Royal Institution at his laboratory. Actually, those were the images of uh, living human faces. Uh, however, it took further eight years for the beginning of practically feasible television broadcasting <coughs> between 1935 and 1938 uh, the nazi government under adolf hitler in germany operated the world's first regular television service uh, with the propaganda broadcast to specially equipped theaters uh, so it was after uh, the end of world war ii in 1946 uh, that commercial television came into being in the united states uh, so, television started in India. So, that, that is, you know, as I said, it was after only World War II that commercial television came into being in the United States. And let us see when it came into India. So, television started in India on an experimental basis on September 15, 1959 with a limited transmission on three days a week. So, the purpose was educational. The scope of programs was restricted to educational broadcasts for a limited area around New Delhi. So, television at this initial phase was not considered to be a medium of entertainment but primarily an educational tool. So, it was used only as an educational tool in the beginning period. Regular broadcasting of television programs began in India only in the year 1965. The period between 1972 and 1982 saw the rapid expansion of television. So, in 1976, television broadcasting was delinked from All India Radio and was put under an independent organization called Doordarshan, which we have today. And it's, it switched over to color transmission on August 15, 1982. That is... Um, Peter Goldmark, actually he is the one who introduced the color television system. Peter Goldmark. So, he is the one who introduced color television system. And his uh, system produced color pictures uh, by giving a red, blue, green wheel spin in front of a cathode ray tube. So, in 1948, cable television is introduced in Pennsylvania as a means of bringing television to rural areas. So, cable television is the process of sending TV signals to subscribers through wires or you know fiber optic cables so in 1950s television actually gained widespread acceptance in the united states and also in some european countries but television uh, you know it it was a, saw a rapid growth in india only between the years that is between 1972 and 1982 so, a number of foreign as well as the private domestic television channels have been established so in the country after uh, 1990s. So, private television channels in various languages dominate the television broadcasting industry today. This is what we see today. And the television is one of the, uh, as you know, most popular inventions of the last century. Uh, and the, every day we spend hours with uh, television. And it is a reality that we cannot imagine a day without television consumption, right? So, our imagination of the world is uh, formed with television. So, we can't even imagine a day without television or now we can say uh, you cannot live even a day without your mobile phone. So, the new gadget which we have in hand now. So, we can say that we cannot live without that uh, uh, mobile phone, right? And if we see the main reason for its popularity, why uh, it has gained, television has gained uh, popularity among people, you know, uh, we can list a few characteristics of television. Uh, the main first point is, it's an audio-visual medium. 
so radio is only an audio medium but television you know is an audio visual medium meaning is it carries moving pictures and also sound and if you see the next important point or the characteristic of television is you know it's a live medium so with these magical features of television it enables uh, the viewers uh, to view the events anywhere in the world while uh, uh, live you know while sitting in our uh, drawing room for example match cricket match or any you know uh, programs so just we sit in our dra uh, drawing room and we can watch those programs live and the next important point is it is a domestic medium television is a domestic medium see film is also an audio visual medium we say that television is an audio visual medium similarly film is also an audio visual medium but it is not live film is not live and for watching films we have to uh, go to theater or you know we have to download the movie uh, most of us watch television in home in environment because uh, this medium is conceived to be so so it is called a domestic medium television is called a domestic medium and also it's a popular medium because literacy is not a barrier in watching television while newspaper reading requires literacy as we all know so uh, any illiterate can get information and entertainment from uh, a television so in that sense uh, it is really a popular medium any type of people can you know use uh, and uh, uh, it is a transistory medium that is you can read today's newspaper in the evening or in the morning but television programs are to be watched while they are telecast so television has not archival facility so it is called a transistory medium so television is a transistory medium radio has also the same characteristics and uh, it's good for documentary in with information like you know any other medium television can also be used for information dissemination and with its audio visual capacity a television is more apt for providing documentary information as we can uh, detail functions uh, process and other details in uh, in in a uh, live mode and this is uh, site popular it is known as site is i believe you some of you will be knowing this term site that is satellite instructional television experiment and that is in the year 1975 actually doordarshan launched this program satellite instructional television experiment site and this was this site program was one of the most ambitious uh, experiments in television history ambitious experiment uh, experiments in television history that is doordarshan used the ats 6 satellite to beam farm health and hygiene and family planning programs that is 4 hours each day to 2400 villages in rural india so this was a great success great hit the sit was also used to telecast entertainment programs consisting chiefly of rural art music and dance people watched sit programs in communal areas where tv sets were specifically set up for viewing purposes and sit opened up the possibility of connecting people in far and unreachable corners of the country through the magic of satellite communication a next important topic is you know prasar bharati this is that is on september 22 1997 the prasar bharati board was formed granting autonomy to doordarshan and all india radio so this was formed to grant autonomy to doordarshan and all india radio and the main functions of prasar bharati are you know to organize and conduct public service broadcasting to ensure a balanced development of radio and television broadcasting and to establish a system of gathering news for radio and television so that these are the main functions of prasad bharati so please uh, listen carefully so first is to organize and conduct public service broadcasting second is to ensure a balanced development and to establish a system of gathering news for both radio and television next to conduct or commission programs that is audience research market or technical services and to purchase or acquire programs and rights or privileges in respect of sports or other events films serials etc and if you see the types of television transmission systems 
See, technological advancements define and redefine the mode of delivery of television messages and the prominent ways of television transmission, uh, uh, transmissions, if you see, uh, the first comes TV broadcasting. So, it is uh, over the air tra transmission of uh, audio visual signals uh, from towers owned by television stations uh, on frequencies allotted uh, to them by Ministry of Communication. Okay, this is how uh, this, tran this transmit and people can receive the signals without uh, charge by simply uh, turning on a television on a set -up. and sometimes we need an antenna for receiving signals. Uh. Okay, that is that we talk about, this is uh, the world television. Now, we have cable TV. So, by defining, uh, by definition, you know, this cable TV is the process of sending TV signals to subscribers through a wire. So, transmission of messages via cable was invented in the year uh, 1929 and commercially utilized in 1940s. So, cable television system was popularized in 1970s actually uh, in America. And uh, you see, the earliest cable systems were in effect strategically uh, placed antennas with very long cables connecting them to subscribers' home sets. So, because the signals from the antenna became weaker as it traveled through the length of the cable, uh, later, you know, cable providers had to insert uh, amplifiers at regular inter intervals uh, uh, to boost the strength of the signal and uh, uh, make it acceptable for viewing uh, uh, view by, uh, for viewing of, uh, by the public. So, with the invention of uh, even the optical fibers, uh, it has been easy to transmit signal in a, a speedy way uh, without losing a, a picture quality. So, some cable systems even let you make uh, telephone calls and receive new um, uh, this uh, programming technologies. <coughs> now, we have this uh, satellite transmission. That is, you know, it is uh, transmission of uh, uh, television signals uh, through satellite to put in the orbit for communication purpose. Uh, this is also called uh, DTH, you know, direct to home. DTH is direct to home, D DTH uh, satellite services. Uh, and it is digital uh, uh, technology that uh, delivers up to uh, some 150 to, I think, uh, 200 channels uh, uh, on subscribers' house. Uh, and for this, we have to use a set of box to convert digital signals uh, received by the antennas into audio visual format. And also, we have this home video, home video like, you know, VCR, which are not available these days. Uh, now, these are now replaced with, you know, uh, digital versatile disc DVDs, uh, USB drives, uh, Blu-ray discs these days. So, these are the, some of the advancements or the uh, transmission of television that we have uh, today. <coughs> so, this is uh, the house, Prasad Bharti house. And this is all for the day. Meet you in next class. Thank you.